Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های بسیاری است. از این وبسایت دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Hydroponics may be defined as the science of growing plants without soil. A nutrient solution that contains all the essential elements needed for optimum growth and development is delivered directly to the plant. Continue watching to find out more. Kamarchoba means hello in Georgian. I'm Vano. The vibrant people of the Autonomous Republic of Banjara wish for your days to be filled with natural beauty. Welcome to our show entitled Hydroponics for a Sustainable and Healthy Life. Hydroponics has gained popularity in recent years. The term consists of two Greek words, hydro meaning water and ponics which translates to labor. Literally, hydroponics is working water. Hydroponics may be defined as the science of growing plants without soil. A nutrient solution that contains all the essential elements needed for optimum growth and development is delivered directly to the plant. Hydroponic crop production is used widely throughout the U.S. and the entire world. It has some advantages over other indoor crop production systems. There are typically lower upfront costs and setup times, greater water use efficiency, and a higher level of control over the crop nutrient program. There are many ways to set up a hydroponic system, but they can be categorized in a general way into two groups, depending on how the plants are supported. Solid media-based systems use a variety of inert materials to give the plants means to support themselves. Water-only based systems use mechanical means to support the plant. Some of the more common types of systems that use mechanical support include nutrient film technique, or NFT, ebb and flood benches and trays, and raft or floating systems. Some people have the dream of growing their own food but lack sufficient outdoor space to plant crops. An indoor hydroponic growing system may be a perfect solution in such cases. Plants grow through a process called photosynthesis which requires sunlight, water, and CO2 to generate oxygen and glucose. If plants can get light, water, and nutrition from a place other than the soil, they can grow well. According to Dr. Howard Resch, a Canadian hydroponics researcher and author of Hydroponic Food Production, the hydroponics concept dates back to ancient times as evidenced by the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Floating Gardens of China and Chinampas were artificial agricultural islands created by the Aztecs of central Mexico. During the 1940s and 1950s, hydroponics was used to grow crops in areas with little or no soil, such as the Pacific Islands. By the 1970s, a growing interest by farmers and hobbyists meant a more widespread implementation of the smart method to grow food. The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, has used hydroponic technology in its space program. NASA believes that if people want to live on other celestial bodies such as the moon, hydroponics could easily be part of a sustainable development plan. Scientists employed hydroponics to grow plants in the International Space Station and astronauts consumed the first ever space-grown crop, red romaine lettuce, in 2015. Hydroponics is not only a convenient and affordable method of farming, 
but also contributes to a sustainable lifestyle. The growth rate of a hydroponic plant is 30 to 50 percent faster than a soil-based plant grown under the same conditions. With a steady increase in the global population and the corresponding rapid expansions of urban areas, it is necessary to seek more efficient and effective ways to grow food. Experts from the United Nations, a Shining World Leadership for Lives Saving Hero Award Laureate, predict that by 2050, there will be almost 10 billion people, so there naturally will be a significantly increased demand for food. Hydroponics can help address the issue of food shortages globally and bring fresh, healthful produce closer to densely populated areas. Crops can grow well with fewer inputs. For example, a study comparing lettuce conventionally grown in fields in Arizona, USA versus using a hydroponic method found the latter, though using much more energy, had 11 times the yield per area and used 250 times less water. With the advancement of technology, the footprint required for hydroponics is decreasing. Certain designs such as vertical growing can save large amounts of space allowing the cultivation of produce in the middle of crowded cities. Artificial light and controlled temperatures enable a grower to harvest a crop several times throughout the year, and thus cultivation is not tied to a specific season. We will now pause for a constructive message and return soon. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Hydroponics for a Sustainable and Healthy Life on Supreme Master Television. There are several advantages to this cultivation system. A hydroponic grower can produce higher quality and better tasting produce by manipulating growth conditions such as the intensity of the light, indoor temperature, and nutrients in the water. Constraints that conventional farming faces including topsoil erosion or nutrient depleted soil are not issues for the hydroponics method. There are several ways to plant hydroponically. The most popular one is the nutrient film technique, NFT. NFT is a type of soilless cultivation where the plants are suspended above a shallow and constant stream of a nutrient solution. When the bare roots of the plants touch the water pouring through the tube, they get from the medium all that is required to sustain healthy growth, including water, nutrients, and oxygen. The solution is constantly recycled and recirculated through the system. Sometimes growers use a substrate such as rock wool or coconut fiber to support the plant's roots. Abundant oxygen in the medium contributes to stimulating root growth and allows plants to absorb the nutrition more quickly. As the nourishment goes directly to the bare roots, plants need to expend very little energy to break down the food. The saved effort enables the crops to grow faster and yield more. Therefore, growers can get more rapid and larger harvests in a smaller amount of space. Today, the NFT system is very popular among home and commercial hydroponic growers because of its simple but effective design. The nutrient solution can be quite expensive, and that is why some cultivators choose to make their own batches. However, such growers need to make sure that all the compounds are in the correct quantities to suit the specific crop. For example, several elements make up the medium and different types of plants require varied ratios of nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium sulfate. Also, the proportions may need adjusting according to how the plants are growing to ensure an optimum harvest. Therefore, it is important to check on the plant's daily progress for them to thrive and flourish. Another system, called aeroponics, is typified by a popular product called the Aero Garden. 
Produce grows in the air without any soil or other medium, and the roots are frequently misted with a water nutrient mix. Another well-known hydroponic system that utilizes aeroponics is the tower garden. It has a vertical design featuring a small footprint, allowing a unit to be placed in homes with limited space. The system is so accessible that some schools use it to teach their students the process of growing vegetables. The children, having the hands-on experience of taking care of the crops, enjoy not only harvesting the produce but also eating it. The training encourages youngsters to incorporate more vegetables into their diet, a healthy outcome of growing food themselves. American schoolteacher and author Stephen Ritz has successfully integrated the Tower Garden into his curriculum to teach about efficiently growing food. This is called a tower garden, and in these tower gardens, I'm going from seed to tower to table to tummy in under 30 days, using 90% less water and 90% less space. In the back, we have a great new UV unit thanks to Hort Americas, which allows us to grow food vertically in trays with a flood table underneath. So we're doing research to compare what plants grow better with, you know, what kind of lighting and what that cost input is, because input equals output. Hydroponics allows people to grow plants year-round, regardless of unfavorable weather or environmental conditions such as poor soil. Households can grow summer crops and harvest them during the winter. Due to less preparation and upkeep compared to traditional farming, which requires time and labor-intensive activities such as tilling, weeding, and watering, hydroponics is much more simplified and thus can help the grower be more relaxed. Hydroponic cultivation in urban and suburban spaces can be a bonding activity for family and friends, thus boosting people's mental health. Does this farming method sound appealing? You can very easily find out the steps to cultivate hydroponically. There are many resources, such as guides on YouTube and various websites, that explain how beginners can get started at home. Check it out for a more sustainable and healthy life today. Friendly viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you with us for our program. Up next is the life of Lord Mahavira, refuge to the Demon King, part six of six on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May you always enjoy energetic and vibrant health in God's grace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.